Charlie woke, looked at the time and thought about something else. It was a huge place, sis, and so far nobody had come along. At least nobody of any consequence. Nobody. Charlie had expected something else. There were things to do now, and these things needed to be done emphatically and without further resort to procrastination of any sort. Charlie quickened the pace. Things were getting critical. Somebody glanced at Charlie. Nobody. It didn't matter. Inconsequential. My legs are like steel springs. Who said that? Somebody said that. I don't know. I don't care. Not now. Even the brain was moving faster, faster and faster. This was better. Then Charlie thought of the car park and what the man had said, everything he had said, how the young man held himself back, the way he gestured, the way he just stood there. Charlie was pacing it out now. A ripple of steel went across the shoulders, stiffening the back and pushing the head upright. Resolve, steely resolve. Charlie stopped. It seemed like an infinity, just waiting, waiting, pacing himself, breathing, careful breathing. It was then that Charlie reached into the bag.